Hi guys, so for today we're going to talk about the orthogonal trajectories. This is still an application of the first order differential equation. So we will be recalling our knowledge in differential calculus here, more specifically the implicit differentiation. It's like what we've studied in the elimination of arbitrary constants. Okay, so we're going to differentiate some function in terms of x and y by implicit differentiation. And we're going to eliminate the C or the, the uh, constant here. Okay, in order for us to find the orthogonal trajectories. Orthogonal, traje orthogonal means uh, perpendicular with each other. So we are given a family of parabolas. Then we're going to find the orthogonal trajectories to the certain family of a curve. Okay, we're in that is perpendicular to the curve at any point, okay, in the family of the, of, of the curve. So orthogonal tra tra trajectories, that means that we have a right angle at the intersection of the family of, let's say, the parabolas in this example and the families of orthogonal trajectories here. So we're going to need to find the dy or the e dy over dx, okay, in this problems in involving traject orthogonal trajectories. So let's get started. So find the orthogonal trajectories of the family of parabolas. Y squared is equals to, okay, Y squared is equals to CX. So what are we going to do? We, we actually uh, differentiate both sides. So we have 2Y dy over DX, that is Y prime, okay, is equal to derivative of constant multiplied by x with respect to x that is equal to c. So we have 2y dy over dx is equal to c. But, okay, let's take note that we have to eliminate c here because we are asked to find uh, the orthogonal trajectory. So y squared over x is equal to c. So that would be 2y dy over dx is equal to c, which is y squared over x. And we know that this y here and this y here would cancel. So we have 2 dy over dx is equal to y over x. Okay, and if we're going to isolate on the left side of our equation purely the dy over dx term. So we have dy over dx is equal now to y over 2x. Okay. So that is the dy over dx of the family of the parabolas y squared is equals to cx. So dy dx reminds us of slope, okay? So if we're going to recall the slope of a two perpendicular lines, okay, that is equivalent if we have a line here and we have another line here that are perpendicular with each other. We have line 1 here, we have line 2 here. We say that the slope of L sub 1 is, let's say, M sub 1. And the slope of F sub 2 is, let's say, M sub 2. Okay? So, the relationship of their slope is that the slope of M sub 2 is the negative reciprocal of the slope of the M sub 1. So, what are we going to do here? Since it is orthogonal, it means it is at right angle at the family of the parabolas. We're going to take the negative reciprocal of this. So, we have dy over dx of the orthogonal trajectory is equal to the negative reciprocal of this. Negative reciprocal of this is negative 2x over y. And that is our new, okay, that is actually our dy over dx for our orthogonal trajectory. And how do we find the orthogonal trajectory of this parabola? Okay, so we have dy over dx, that's the the orthogonal trajectory, the slope the or orthogonal trajectory is equal to negative 2x over y. So we're going to what? Uh, eliminate again the dy over dx because we are to find a family of curve. So we have dy, y dy is equal to negative 2x dx. And what we are going to do is to simply integrate both sides. So we can eliminate the dy and dx. So we have here, and okay, let me just continue here. So we have here y squared over 2 is equals to negative 2, okay, x dx 
So that would be negative 2x squared over 2 plus c. As you can see here, these twos will cancel if we multiply the both sides of the equation by 2. So we have, I mean, this negative 2 over 2 would cancel. We have y squared over 2 is equal now to negative x squared plus c multiplied both sides by 2. We have y squared, okay? We have y squared. y squared is equal to negative 2x squared plus c. 2 times c is still c. And if we're going to uh, distribute it on the left side okay, of the equation, transpose this, so we have 2x squared plus y squared is equal to c. So this is the family of the orthogonal trajectories of the family of the parabolas y squared is equal to cx. And as you can see here from this equation, 2x squared plus y, y squared is equal to some certain constant value. Okay? Let's say that constant is equal to 1 or 5 or 10. So this equation is actually what? That is an ellipse. So the, the orthogonal trajectory of the family of the parabolas is actually an ellipse. Okay? It is not a circle because the coefficient of x squared is not equal to the coefficient of y squared. So the orthogonal trajectories of the family of parabolas of y squared is equal to cx is an ellipse Okay, given by this equation. All right, let's go now to our second problem. Find the family of orthogonal trajectories of the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to c. Okay, that is a circle. So again, we're going to differentiate 2x plus 2y dy over dx. Okay, implicit differentiation and we have 0. Because the derivative of constant, again, this is a constant number. This is the radius of any circle. So that should be a constant. And the derivative of constant is always 0. So, as you can see here also, if we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 2, this 2 would cancel. So leaving x plus y dy over dx is equal now to 0. If I'm going to transpose x on the right side of our equation, we have y dy dx is equal to negative x. And furthermore, isolating dy over dx because that's what we need. Okay, on the left side, we have negative x y. Okay, and again, we're going to get the negative reciprocal of this to find the orthogonal trajectory of this given circle. Okay, family of circles. So we have dy over dx, that's the orthogonal, dy over dx, the slope. So negative reciprocal of this, negative times negative would cancel, and we simply reciprocate this term. So we have y over x, okay? That is our uh, orthogonal trajectory slope dy over dx. So we have this equation now, dy over dx is equals to y over x. And if we're going to uh, trans, uh, uh, cross multiply, so we have dy over y is equals to dx over x. So what will happen is that integrating both sides of the equation to eliminate dy and dx. So we have ln of y is now equal to ln of x plus c, okay? And if we are going to exponentiate both sides, so we have e raised to ln of y, okay? Let me just change the colors, ln of x plus c. So what will happen here is that we know that uh, this would actually cancel. We have y is equals to e raised to ln of x multiplied by e raised to c. e raised to ln of x would cancel. e raised to c is simply c. So we have y is equals to okay, cx. Okay. So this is the family of the orthogonal trajectories of the circle. And what is this equation? y is equals to a sum value of constant c multiplied by x. That is a line. Okay. So, the orthogonal trajectories of a circle is in line. Okay, let's try to solve another problem. Okay. So, we have number 3. Find the orthogonal trajectory curve, the given curve, x, y is equal to c. So, we have x, y is equal to c. 
So in order for us to find the orthogonal trajectory of this curve, okay, that is uh, by by product rule, we're going to actually uh, differentiate this. So we have x dy over dx. This first then derivative of this with respect to y, that is dy over dx, plus y multiplied by, okay, uh, the derivative of x is 1 is equals to 0. So we have x dy over dx plus y is equals to 0. So we need to isolate dy over dx on the left side. So we have dy over dx, x is equals to negative y. And we have dy over dx is equal to negative y over x. That is the slope of the curve, this curve. So to get the orthogonal slope here, we have to negate this and to reciprocate. So negative of negative of x over y. So that should become xy. Okay. So if we negate this, that is y over x. To get the reciprocal, that is x over y. So this is now our new dy over dx. So cross multiply, we have y dy is equals to x dx. Okay, if we are going to integrate this both sides, so we'll be having uh, uh, y squared over 2 is equals to x squared over 2 plus c. Multiply both sides by 2, so as to cancel 2 on the denominator. So we have y squared is equals to x squared plus 2 times c is still a constant c. And if we are going to transpose, okay, to transpose uh, y squared or x squared on the other side, we have y squared minus x squared is equal to a certain value of c. And that is the orthogonal trajectory, which appears to be what type of curve? What conic section? This is what? Hyperbola. Okay? Hyperbola. Okay, let's try another problem. This will be our last problem for this video. So find the orthogonal trajectory curve of all the lines passing through the origin. So all the lines passing through the origin, that should be y is equals to some verb value of c multiplied by x. This is the family of lines passing through the origin. Okay, y is equals to cx. So if we're going to differentiate both sides, we have dy over dx on the left side is equal to c. Okay. Wherein we need to eliminate C here by simply substituting C here from our original equation as uh, so Y over X. So we have dy over dx is equals to Y over X in here. Okay. And if we are going again, we are going again to... Uh, get the negative reciprocal of this. So we have dy over dx of the orthogonal curve, okay, or trajectory that is negative x over y. Okay, so cross multiplying to eliminate again dy over dx. Okay, so we have negative x over y. Cross multiplying, we have y dy is equal now to negative x uh, dx. Okay, if we're going to integrate both sides of our equation, so we'll be having y squared over 2 is equals to negative x squared over 2 plus c. Multiply both sides by 2, we have y squared is equals to x squared plus 2 times c, that is still equal to c. Okay, this is negative x squared, okay? So what will happen is that if we're going to transpose this on the left side of the equation, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to some value of c. And what is this equation? Yes, you got that right. Okay, that is a circle. Okay, because circle because they have the same coefficients for the x squared and the y squared and it is equal to some value of c. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something in the orthogonal trajectory in the application of the first order differential equation. So thank you so much and God bless.